If you had told me six months ago that I'd be playing OG Fortnite again with my buddies, I would have told you that you were crazy. Yet here we are at its end, and I've had some of the most fun that I've ever had in years while playing video games. 11 year old me used to sit in bushes, eating a pop tart in the playroom where I wasn't supposed to be, and just enjoying the game with my friends on a FaceTime call because my parents were worried sick about me talking to strangers on a headset in game. And Fortnite OG was able to take me back out of reality for a few hours and let me be this 11 year old kid again. But how good was Fortnite OG really? Should it stay? What's the next move for Fortnite after such a successful season? Those are all the things going to be broken down and talked about in this video. I think for us to understand how successful Fortnite OG really was, we need to look back at Fortnite Chapter 4. Fortnite Chapter 4 was the weakest chapter of Fortnite that has ever been released. Although it wasn't terrible and most season launches were still really fun to play, the seasons just weren't hitting the bar that Fortnite, in my opinion, had set so highly on themselves. Loot pools were definitely unique, but not always the most fun or practical. The map, although very unique and varied, was a mess, and hard to traverse in the vehicles that we had. So with Fortnite at what was seemingly an all-time low, they have to make a decision. What do we do now? And their answer was Fortnite OG. Fortnite OG was released just under a month ago, and what a decision it was by Epic Games. After building a steep climb in top-notch seasons, years of story building, and designing countless new mechanics, they decided in order to save their game, they needed to go back to square one. And personally, I don't think they could have made a better decision. I've come to enjoy this game way more than I have had in the, at least the last year or so. My friends have come back to enjoy this game with me. I've been able to recreate funny moments with them and make new moments as well. Getting to visit nostalgic locations and think about what I was doing as an 11 year old kid on this map. Fortnite this last month has really been a joyride and millions of people agree with that opinion. Streamers that I would watch back in 2018 are back and playing the game as if no time has passed at all these last 5 years. Using weapons and vehicles in game has been an awesome throwback to get to enjoy. This, yet again, gives me 100% respect for the team at Epic Games, who took a risk on the community's I want OG Fortnite back cries, and they delivered. With Fortnite OG's record shattering player count, this puts Fortnite devs in another corner. How do we capitalize on this heat? Fortnite OG is a hot topic, and those at Epic, assuming they don't want their game to fall back down, want to make sure to keep these record numbers. But how? Well, there's a lot of different ways. Obviously, Fortnite can make the call that when our next season, the beginning of Chapter 5, drops, they can give an option to have Fortnite OG as a permanent playable mode. But personally, I don't think this is the best decision. Part of what made Fortnite OG so special is that it was a short and sweet thrill of the times that were simple. If we keep Fortnite OG permanently, it's going to lose its magic. Games won't be as special, we'll get bored, and ultimately, we'll end up playing what Fortnite Chapter 5 intends to deliver anyways. So, what does Fortnite Chapter 5 have setting up to carry on this OG hype? Well, it's essentially another reset for the Epic Games devs. They have a new map they can play around with, new story elements they can set up without having to worry about previous ones, and all their ideas on weapons and mechanics can be simplified and then built back up to the crazy stuff later on. Collabs like the LEGO collab that are coming and the Rocket League racing mode are going to keep players interested and have multiple opportunities for them to try something different within Fortnite. The continuation of improvements in UEFN are going to put people into creative mode and even if they can't access UEFN, they'll want to access some sort of creative and will grow in that scene. Save the World is continuing to get updates even though we were technically promised they weren't going to. And with Save the World being built, everything around Fortnite right now is getting updates that are making it more hype and more exciting for us fans to enjoy when Fortnite OG is all over. So how does this fantasy end? For me, I'm not going anywhere. I am extremely excited for what Fortnite has in store for us after Fortnite OG. With the end event this weekend and Chapter 5 shortly after, I am truly hyped for what Epic Games is going to bring with Chapter 5. Now obviously, some people that have been playing Fortnite OG are going to leave this game again. And that's their choice. No one is forcing them to keep playing something if they don't enjoy it. But I hope, and honestly, I trust that Epic Games knows what they are doing with Fortnite now that they have seen the explosive response to Fortnite OG. And I hope that Chapter 5, if possible, can keep the record numbers 
and keep this game a joy to play, just like it has been the last four weeks or so.